a cutting board is a seemingly simple project, but it's a great one for practicing the skills of milling lumber with hand planes. A cutting board like this has multiple boards that all must be planed flat and jointed straight and square in order for the boards to join together seamlessly. So there's lots of opportunity to practice. A cutting board can be made from virtually any wood, but I would recommend avoiding softwoods such as pine and spruce as they really won't be very durable in the long term. Instead, I would recommend looking for some hardwoods that are easily worked with hand tools. For my cutting board, I chose walnut and cherry because I had them in my woodshed. Now, walnut may not be the ideal wood for a cutting board because it does have a slightly more open pore structure, but walnut works really well with hand planes and it'll make a fine cutting board. There may be more ideal hardwoods for cutting boards, but most of these are going to be more difficult to work with hand tools because they're much harder and denser. So I'd recommend sticking with nothing harder than cherry. If you're not comfortable using a cutting board with these less dense hardwoods, it can always just be decorative. Remember, the purpose of the projects in these foundations courses is to practice the skills that we learned within the course. So don't worry if your cutting board isn't made from the ideal wood or doesn't come out perfect. Use the project to work on the techniques and if you end up with a usable piece at the end, consider it a bonus.